Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today I'm here with my Brompton attached to a Thule chariot and this was actually loaned to me by none other than John Ray. So I just want to introduce him a bit because I'm really thankful that he's let me sort of borrow this setup. But I was just curious, uh, what do you use this chariot for and what's your experience been like with it? It's mainly been fun on the Lake Washington Boulevard weekends when they close out the road. And so we just head down, down there and tow the trailer, um, just hang out and chat, nothing too serious. That's great. So let's start from the beginning. So here's the folded up Brompton and the big, big chariot behind it. Let's get it attached, try it out, and then of course load my new baby. So in terms of setting up the trailer on the Brompton, it's actually super duper easy because the rear of the Brompton features just a axle nut. So you take that off, then you put on the adapter, and then you tighten. I think the only real consideration is really how many threads you're left with so that you can tighten it back as well as the angle that you want the mount since this is going to be lower than a typical 700c setup with the 16 inch wheels you might have to sort of uh, particularly place that mount and adapter so that it works well but once we got that going it's super easy and this one i really like the design because it's just literally a ball and socket with this pin that goes in and sort of keeps it in place as well as a safety that you can hook into the Brompton Triangle pretty easily as well. So with that, I think we're finally ready to go give this a spin. And this is gonna be my very first ride, so let's see how it goes. All right, I don't know how heavy this is gonna be. We're on a slight incline and actually it's not too bad. It actually feels pretty nice. Um, the chariot right now is completely empty. I'm going at walking pace as you can see. But I'm really excited for how this is going to go. As I took to try it out more around the neighborhood, it really felt quite nice and natural, especially without anything loaded in. Of course, my turning radius was a bit longer, as well as the uphills uh, were harder. But the downhill part, the aluminum rib brakes of the Brompton was more enough to handle it. So from here, I'm going to take this setup home so that I can finally put in my own cargo. Alright, so we have the trailer all set up now with my latest family member. <laughs> That's right, a other Brompton. So this is a yellow limited edition one. I have some special plans for it, but that's not the point of this video. So there's no better candidate as a new member of my family to join me on a ride. A Brompton carrying a Brompton, an extra sort of 28 pounds in the back. So let's see how this goes. I'm pretty excited. And yeah, I was pretty stoked about this colorway of the new Brompton that I got. And with that, the climbs just got a lot harder as I'm just struggling up my little climb near my home and just carrying in the back there. You can see its view. It obviously doesn't fit super well in those uh, seat belts, but it's held steady for what I was doing. But I love this idea that you could probably bring this foldable bike literally anywhere. I've seen people bring the T-Line on a kayak, so why not bring one in a kid's trailer? And yeah, it looks super awesome there with the mid bar. So I'm sure it would be much more suited for live passengers. Uh, this gave me a really good confidence that the Brompton is more than enough to handle this type of situation. And it's really cool because you basically can bring both in a pretty small car, compact package, and just get going. So let me know what you think. Would you want to use your folding bike to carry a trailer or do you already do that? And yeah, in the future, I would love this as a solution for me as I won't need to get another full cargo bike and just keep going. But anyway, definitely roll over that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. A lot more Brompton videos to come this summer mixed with Seattle cycling. So don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.